Good morning, all. Trying to get a picture this morning of the moon. It was gorgeous. It was seen close. It was full. If it wasn't full, it was almost full. Or it was full, waning. Either way, it was a spectacular picture. And I was thinking to myself when I saw it, you know, what am I illuminating? Of course, you know, the moon is illuminating the, the, the sun. And that's, you know, dep the, the, depending on the position of the sun and the moon is how you get your quarter moon, half moon, full moon. But this morning was such a beautiful reflection of the sun. And it was also, seemed like it was closer, which I know it's maybe not, but it just seems that way. But, you know, in, in our own lives, I, I did a video last night, and I'm sorry it was kind of loud, but uh, our 17-month-old grandson uh, was watching his cartoons, and I just really felt inspired, and I told my wife, I said, go ahead and let's do it now. I said, I thought the creator wants me to do it now. You could hear it, but it's, there's a lot of music, and uh, a 17-month-old making noise and getting in the way. But basically, it dealt upon the divine spirit, the creator, is inside of you. And that should just give you total happiness and hope, knowing that you don't have to do anything to earn his approval or to, to jump through the hoops to get him to love you. <clears throat> he loves you already. And that moon that I saw this morning, that when we are in connection with the Creator, we can illuminate his goodness and we can illuminate his grace and we can illuminate his, his positivity. We can illuminate hope and everything when we're connected correctly to the Creator. You know, and the moon is so much like us sometimes in our life. There's some days when I'm just like that full moon, just, just glowing. And there's sometimes I'm a quarter moon. I'm glowing a little bit, but not too much. And there's sometimes when I'm the hidden moon, and I may not be, be, may not be uh, giving off any light at all. But, you know, that's, that's just the way life is, and that's the way our journey is. The main thing is we must maintain that connection with the Creator. We must maintain being plugged into the Creator so that we can do our job of... Uh, spreading you know positivity and goodness and mitzvotes and 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 charity and and do all these things to fix this world that we're in i'm i'm really impressed with the way the creator has created everything you know everything in nature is an example of our relationship with him also you know just like i said the moon the trees you know you see the trees the trees are just so beautiful in the summertime so full and they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. They're providing, they're providing cover for the birds and the animals and housing and safety for the animals and food for us. And, and then oxygen, it, it's, it's doing everything it's supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah, they go through seasons also. Of course, you know, in the fall, many of these trees lose their leaves and they look dead. But they're not dead. It's just a part spiritually they're at, physically that they are going through that metamorphosis of death and coming back to life again. So if you're discouraged, if you're down, if you don't feel like you're good enough or you don't have a purpose or nothing like that, it's all a lie. It's a false illusion. You are very important to the Creator. The Creator has invested His life in you, your DNA, your breath is even His. You know, you are basically, like I said last night, you're a walking tabernacle. You have the glory of the Creator inside of you. I don't care if you're a Jew, a Ben Noah, a Gershavat, Tovat. You're all. You have the Creator inside of you, and I, I just want that really to sink in this morning. Smile, have a good day. You know, if you're depressed, man, get get just. I know we all go through some times and seasons of, of down and everything. But just knowing that he is inside of you, I just hope that that just encourages you this morning. And I hope that it just excites you to know that the creator cares enough about you that he's invested his spark, his breath in you to do the things that we need to do. Y'all have a great day today. I just speak positive to you. I just, I just hope that you, know, you have a fantastic day, that you're blessed beyond measure, that you let no discouragement in your way today. Make a friend smile. Have a great day. Let's prepare this world. Thank you.